morning. It's Monday morning. We are all home today. It is a um, national holiday, but also my husband just coincidentally had off today. So he's home. Um, I got up kind of early. I edited for tomorrow. I started laundry. We have at least four loads to do today just to catch up from the weekend because the French didn't do anything and I have like some specialty cleaning like I have to clean the girls dresses we got a little like chocolate cake on their um white dresses so I pre-treated those I'm gonna wash them and my dress that needs to be just washed you know and I'll air dry it so and I wash like our bath mat and towels it's just like all the things so I've started that already I had two two loads in I have to wash all the stuff from the thrift store a, you know just a, a heavy washing day so um i'm working on that i did my video got myself ready dan is making breakfast the girls are cleaning their room we're up and moving so we also have to or evie has to finish up some schoolwork for tomorrow but it shouldn't take too long and then we're hoping to make it out to a thrift store today at some point just to take advantage of these like 50 percent off sales so that's the plan for the day. It's kind of gloomy and gray out, but I think it's supposed to actually warm up a little bit today. So I just went through and cleared out my purse, which was a major necessity. And in here I keep diapers and also a backup outfit for Jude. I don't have a diaper bag anymore. I haven't, I don't even know if I used one with Luke. I guess I maybe did, but anyways, I've just used this same bag that I've used for a long time. I love it, it's from Tello and Rose. She's an awesome woman and creator and I'll link her down below. And then this is my like backup clothes that I keep in the car and it's just good to have because yesterday we were at my parents with my sister and her dog and the kids decided to give the dog a bath in the rain. So they needed changes of clothes so I was glad I had it. I still only had it stocked with like summer dresses but it was better than nothing so I just refilled it and added an outfit for Jude and I sized up in it just so that you know it'll last a little while in the car I won't like pull out something that's way too tiny for him so that's gonna go back in the car and we're gonna eat breakfast right now about one o'clock now we are just now uh, heading out we finish up all the schoolwork and playtime lunchtime or uh, breakfast late breakfast cleaned all that up um, we might grab lunch on the way when we go out uh, we want to go to the thrift store like I said and then I'm also meeting up with somebody to give them or sell them this um, North Face jacket coat I did find someone that was able to use it so we're gonna meet up I'm gonna you know pass it off and then we're gonna head to the store. Um, like I said, maybe we'll grab lunch while we're out. We were thinking of packing a lunch, but kinda, I don't know, got lost in the shuffle. And then I was just like deep cleaning the kitchen because it really needed it. I'm running the dishwasher now. I did a bunch of loads of laundry. I'm looking at a load on the uh, couch that I folded. I didn't wanna like leave anything and let it get all wrinkled and just, you know, set myself back with all that, you know, effort. So I have um, just one more going and then we're pretty much caught up for the day. So we're gonna go head out. All right, we're just grabbing something on the way for lunch and we passed a Whole Foods. So we're actually gonna head in there because they have a, a nice like prepared food section and they actually have like outdoor seating and, and indoor seating. So we're gonna find something for lunch here. Well, I guess I should have <laughs> thought about this. They don't actually have like the prepared stuff like they used to. But they do have, you know, pre pre wrapped stuff. Macarons. Red velvet cookies and cream. Mm, those are good. Fruit. Ooh, the raspberry looks good and the chocolate. And the salt is caramel. So we're gonna get a couple burgers. Do I do a check or just call it? I do a check or an X. Just so they know. Choose you get a bun. beef. Real Choose spun. your bun. Mm, I'll get American cheese. And then I'm gonna get this um, Sonoma chicken salad. It's really good. And then Lara's gonna get pizza. What kind of pizza you want? Plain? Okay, finish your food first and then we can go to the 
All right, we just got back from the thrift store. We were out pretty late, but we found a few gems I'll have to show you. I think we're officially done thrifting for a little while. We have found some great things in a very short amount of time. So um, I think we're gonna take a little break. We have kids doing various things right now. Lara is riding her little mini quad, or the kids mini quad, and Dan's gonna mow. And then Evie's working on a sewing project. Luke actually fell asleep in the car, so he's doing, taking a little nap. Uh, Jude just woke up from a nap. I'm about to feed him and then work on something for dinner, but I had to make myself an iced coffee first. We actually pulled into the Starbucks drive-thru or the parking lot to go just grab a coffee quick and they were closed. They had closed at one for the holiday. So we just went home and I just made one here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna feed this little guy, get him settled, and then get started on dinner. All right, so it's already 6.30. I'm gonna throw together a really quick dinner, something that I've made a few times in the past. Um, basically, you put the water on to boil to make pasta, and in the time it takes to boil, you can pretty much do all of the sauce for it and then you just toss it when the pasta is ready so you cook up some bacon and then after that is all cooked you can take the bacon out and like chop it up but then in all the bacon grease goodness you can do some cheese and heavy cream and then whatever vegetables you have i think i'm going to put some grated carrot and some of this asparagus you could do peas are good but my husband doesn't like peas i love peas but he doesn't like it. Um, so it's kind of like a pasta carbonara wh where you would like toss it with raw egg. You could also do that. Um, and then you could use a little bit of the starchy pasta water also after it's cooked to kind of thicken up um, the sauce as well and make it a little bit more runny. So like I said, water's on, starting to boil, the pan's heating up, so I'm gonna cook the bacon. So the bacon's done and then I poured out some of the bacon grease or most of it and left some in here and then I put in some onion and actually did mushroom because I thought that would be good and I had them in the fridge already opened so I just diced up some of those and then just a little bit of chicken broth just to kind of um, get all the little bits up. Dan's still mowing. Um, and then I put my pasta in so that's going. So once this is all pretty cooked and softened then I will put in the asparagus. I'll chop up all the bacon and put it in and then do some, you know, finish it with cream and cheese and the pasta water. And that's it. It's pretty quick. So here's how the pasta turned out. And then we have some extra Parmesan cheese if they want to grate that on top, but it's really delicious. All right. So I want to wash all the stuff that I got today so that I can show you. For myself, I got this sweater, it's $5. It's just a um, Forever 21, and it's just an all cotton, kind of ribbed sweater, and it's three quarter sleeve. I tried it on, I didn't try it on there, the fitting rooms are, were closed, but I tried it on when I got home, and it's pretty warm, so that'll be a good one for like the dead of winter. This one is also, I guess it was on a cream sweater kick. This was $6.99, so I paid seven, um, Seven dollars. Pay three fifty. Um, it's by D and Co. I don't know what that is, but it's like a. I don't know. I don't know what kind of neckline. It's kind of like a turtleneck, but it's not really high. It's not quite mock neck. I don't know, but it's really big and oversized. Again, all cotton, and just kind of like really cozy for like early morning school drop off and pick up, and just really cozy and comfy. And then Evie is doing this project where she's making, just for fun, um, like a life-sized doll. So she wanted to get clothes that she could stuff. So she just picked out this little shirt and some pants and she's gonna stuff them and sew it together and make like a real sized doll. And then she also found some cute things. These were $2. It was a, oh yeah. <laughs> These go to the doll too. She got some sunglasses for a dollar for the doll. Um, this Cat and Jack shirt was $2 and it's really cute and fallish and it's got a cute little detail on the sleeve and a cute little kind of, kind of like a Swiss dot but a diamond pattern. Uh, this is for Lara for the springtime. It was $3.50. Just a cute 
H&M dress and I love the little flutter <laughs> sleeves. This was also for Lara, it was two dollars. And Evie wanted to use this for her doll, but I said this is too cute. This is like a real person needs to wear this. So it just has this really cute, like, dog pattern on it. So we want to wash that up so we can wear it right away. Um, this was, I know, it's so cute. This was $3, a little children's place um, sweater. Cute little yeah. cat t-shirt. Really simple, basic, two dollars. These we got for Luke. They're adorable. They are Converse, and they have the little um, dinosaur Pause things it. in the back. Little dinosaur spikes, and they actually say, "Let's see if we can get this to focus." Um, Converse, Dinoverse, and it even has like dinosaur prints on the bottom. And these don't even look. They were maybe worn like once. They look very. They have little dinosaur. Prince. <laughs> so cute. This was also for Luke, two dollars. Dan picked this out, and it's cute. It just has like a contrast. Boys' clothes are so like basic, so it's nice when there's like a little bit of detailing. I don't know if it's even gonna really focus. There you go. It's got like a little texture on the sleeve. It's just like a little bit different than the than the body. This is for Lara. Cute little um, penguin print shirt this is from the gap it says it's a large size 10 but there's absolutely no way it's so tiny <laughs> and then lastly this beautiful dress for evie it was also 350 and it's just gorgeous i would totally wear this myself it has so many pretty details on it and there's like a different pattern at the bottom it's lovely so lovely so that was most everything we got. We got a couple other little bits and bobs. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all this in the wash and this is load like five for today, but I think I'll officially be all caught up on the laundry. I'm gonna throw in the girls' dresses with these as well and my dress from the wedding. And I think we'll officially be done with everything. All right, kids are all cleaned and in bed and I'm gonna have a little snack this is some frozen whole mango like it's not sweetened or anything it's just chunks of mango frozen and i let it thaw so it's like a little bit soft it's not totally frozen solid and it's it's so delicious i say i've said it before it tastes like mango sorbet like it has that creamy texture that's just how it is naturally and it's so good as like a little sweet treat but dan is doing some work in the garage and I'm still working on folding laundry and putting it away. Um, Dan cleaned up mostly from dinner. I just, I just have like one pan to wash. Um, and then I have to prep lunches for school tomorrow, back to school tomorrow. And then my plan eventually is to curl up in bed and watch a little Ted Lasso. All right, lunches are made. Lara wants ham, cheese, and salami sandwich. And then she has a snack time where they ask that you send fruit or vegetables or both so that's what she has and then for evie and luke which he i mean he'll be home with me but he just it's easy or if i'm already making two why not just make another they want peanut butter and jelly i threw a cheese stick in there applesauce and these little trail mix um packs from aldi and then evie i'll send with probably another fruit on the side for her snack time so i was just thinking about what to do for breakfast tomorrow it's technically Tuesday but we didn't do muffin Monday so I think I'm gonna just whip up some muffins really quick it's 9 30 but it really they go pretty quick so I think I'm gonna make just some quick chocolate chip muffins get those in the oven while I'm just doing everything else I'm doing folding laundry and then they'll be done and just one thing less to worry about tomorrow all right so laundry is all officially caught up Folded, put away. I just have the dresses air drying. They're good to go. My muffins are done. So I'm ready to head to bed now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.